So when you get your Omnitrope, it's gonna come with two things. You're going to get a small vial that says Omnitrope and that has the powder in it. It's also gonna come with a small vial filled with fluid that's dilutant. You can discard the dilutant because I'm gonna have you mix it with the mixing kit, which is the bacteriostatic water. So when you get your Omnitrope, you're gonna, the one with the powder you're gonna keep, the one with the, has the little vial with the dilutant you can throw in the garbage. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add 1.45 or just shy of 1.5 mLs of bacteriostatic water into the Omnitrope vial. So what I'm gonna show you how to do this. You always alcohol off the top of the bottle before you stick a needle in it. So it's simply just one swipe across the top, one swipe across the top. Each mixing kit, you're gonna get two of these big syringes and you're only gonna use one at a time. So every time you mix a vial, you're gonna open up this five ml syringe. Sometimes you'll get a three, this time it came with a five. Normally I send you a three ml syringe. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is take 1.5 ml out of the bacteriostatic water and add that to the dilutant. So you can see on this, it goes from right here, one, two, three, all the way up to five. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out 1.5 Five, which is midway between the two and the three mark, which is just right about there. So what I'm gonna do is insert this in, turn the vial upside down, and then withdraw 1.5. So sometimes you'll have to pull a little bit past, and then you could just pull down, push out to the 1.5 mark, which again is just midway between the one and the two lines. So you take this needle out like that, then you take your Omnitrope vial, you stick this right in the center, and then you shoot that water directly into the Omnitrope vial. Now the key is you don't want to shake this Omnitrope vial. You just want to roll it back and forth in your fingers. You could turn it upside down. Sometimes you could just tumble it just like this or roll it just like this. And now you can see that that is now reconstituted and it's mixed. Okay, now that you have this bottle of Omnitrope mixed, uh, you're gonna keep this cold in the refrigerator. It's very important that this stays cold once it's mixed. If you leave it out or forget to put it, uh, you leave it out overnight, that's fine. It just can't be unrefrigerated for more than 24 hours. Now to inject this, what you wanna do is you wanna get out your 0.3 cc insulin syringe. So these caps come off at the bottom and you can see the orange caps comes off at the top. Now. These syringes go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's 0.3 mLs to the 30 line. Generally, what I'm gonna have you do is at first pull to the 7.5 line, which is midway between the five and the 10, that's 0 0.3 milligrams. If you pull to the five line, that's 0 0.2 milligrams. Again, the 7.5 is 0 0.3. If you pull to the one line, that's 0 0.4. If you pull to the 15 line, that's 0 0.6. So I'm gonna have you pull to the 7.5 line to start. That's 0.3 milligrams a night. So what you wanna do is you just want to, again, you're gonna um, stick the needle in the center of the Omnitrope. You're gonna turn it upside down and you're just gonna pull out enough fluid to get to about the seven and a half line, which is right there. Perfect. Now you're, now you're ready to inject. You can inject either mid-thigh or anywhere in the abdomen. Generally, a lot of patients like to do Just take your alcohol pad from inside out, create a bullseye. You take a little, just pinch a little bit of skin and just go straight in, just like that, and inject, and you're done.